stolen plant. Kidnapped baby Bonobo. Ransacked grave. Analysis. Do you have what it takes to crack the case? To do some detective work? This book. You'll prime solve your way through some seriously puzzling made up mysteries to explore the field of forensic science, the study of evidence to help solve crimes. You'll analyze stains on keyboard, dust for fingerprints, examine bite marks, dig up evidence, and much, much more. Then you'll use what you'll learn to ID the suspect. What is this book? And Aurelia, the reading bookie, is here to review it. This is National Geographic Kids Solve This Forensics Super Science and Curious Capers for, de for the Daring Detective in You. Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a book review on... Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? Well, I guess not. You don't have any evidence. But you'll find out all about evidence, clues, and logical thinking, as well as problem solving and some cases for you to try out with... National Geo Ki Geographic Kids Solve This Forensics. It's very interesting. This book really interesting and I couldn't help but rereading it so many times. I just loved all the interactive cases which show you results and how to test evidence that you can find at the crime scene. Let's start by looking at the first case. Firstly, this book teaches you on different ways to analyze things and different things which are, well, often found at crime scenes. And they also tell you how to research them as well as the technology they use to research it. As you can see here, they have little mysteries like this. And they actually give you the results once you're done. But of course, I'm not going to show you this case's results so you can try it on your own. I found this book at Popular and uh, it cost $21.94. Yeah, it might sound really expensive, but actually most books at Popular are like $16 and over. So yeah. Are you ready to do some detective work? Are you ready to do some detective work? In this book, you'll crime solve your way through some seriously puzzling made up mysteries to explore the field of forensic science, the study of evidence to help solve crimes. You'll analyze stains on computer board, dust for fingerprints, examine bite marks, dig up evidence, and much, much more. Then you'll use what you've learned to ID the suspect, or identify the suspect, of course. Think you have what it takes to solve the case? This book will help you. So this book actually includes a lot of things about forensic science. It tells you about forensic science, like what is forensic science and stuff like that. They also show you what there are common things you can find at, an, at a crime scene and things that can be used as evidence. Then they'll also show you the technology which they use to analyze the evidence found at the crime scene and how to deduce who the suspect is. Of course, they will give you four suspects first. You need to narrow it down, or you'll be searching the whole community. Yeah. So not only that, they also have little cases, case files in here, and they'll slowly show you that analysis and stuff, and they'll slowly show you how they deduced the suspect. Not only that, you can also play along with the results that they give you, and while you're playing along, they'll actually give you information about things which they use to analyze the evidence as I just said, and also how they found out to use this technology to analyze the evidence, how it works, you know? From this book, I also learned something called wavelength, and that there are different colors and different wavelengths. The longest color with the, the color of the longest wavelength being red, and that's why they usually use it for signs, that way you can see it through fog and haze and snow, you know? So I find this book really interesting. So, today's word of the day is ransom, a sum of money paid to for, paid for a release of a captured captive, which is basically captured person. Yeah, captured captive is really deep. Yeah, it's not a word. An example of this is, the robbers asked for ransom in order to release the baby vulnerable, which is exactly what happened in this and there's actually a ransom vulnerable case in here and I find that 
really interesting, like I just stated before. I would rate this book maybe three stars because it is really interesting. There are experiments that you can try out. Um, those two stars that got deducted is because sometimes they use some terms that some people might not know or maybe you really don't understand what's happening because they use like really scientific words because this is a branch of science forensic science which is like crime solving science as i just said so yeah that's why i got those two stars to dark anyway i hope you enjoyed this book review and if you like any more videos like this i have tons more books that i can review today so thanks for watching bye Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video, which I really hope you did, and I think um, thanks for your support because I think we're close to I think almost 400 subscribers, that's thanks a lot, so one day when I was looking at the subscriber count, I really just screamed and told my brother because I was so excited, so thanks a lot for your support, and if you want more of this, um, maybe I will post on my Facebook page, which I really haven't been doing nowadays uh, because we don't have time exams are coming as you know like they are finishing but it's been pushed back so yeah i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and once again bye bye